Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. That's right, it's Sunday morning. It is time for us to explore another beautiful campground. I have traveled west into the drylands of West Texas and a little bit south. Today I am, I have just arrived at Holiday Park, Benbrook Lake. It's a Corps of Engineer campground. And I'm really, really excited. I, I was just kind of sitting on the fence with this one, but now that I'm here, I'm like, my goodness, what a great campground. Let's start with a site review real real quick first. Look at these, look at these beautiful pecan trees. Of course, they're gonna be dropping pecan sap on my RV and I'll have to wash that off, but that's okay. What's really amazing is Sunday, August 31st, or July 31st. Tomorrow's August 1st. We're in site number 91. There's no one here. <laughs> I got here before noon on Sunday. There's nobody here. That may be because the lake is extremely low, but we'll, we'll get to that. Right now we're doing a site review. Site number 91. Look at this site. It's practically perfect with a couple of little things. Asphalt pad. It is not nearly as level as it looks. Tons of shade. It is a 50 amp with water. Got a pretty new pedestal here. There's the water. There's no sewer. You can see that we're, we're pretty high off the ground. I had to put in three blocks. Otherwise the wheels would have been off the ground. fire ring we're in this is we're in a burn ban most of texas is under a burn ban right now oh look at the turkey feather ha, cool that's a turkey I have a concrete picnic table with a metal roof that way if we if we're so fortunate to get some rain if we're fortunate enough to get some rain We'll be good. The lake would normally be up in here, but but this there the 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 drought is so bad here in West Texas that Benbrook Lake, um, most of the boat ramps seem to be closed. Let me let me eat some lunch. Get the get the gear. You'll notice I don't have the truck on this trip. Let me sit down real quick. We got to talk about what we're doing here. The next four days, I'll be traveling. I'm gonna I'm gonna spend three nights down here at Benbrook Lake, documenting as much as I can. I know I'm gonna have three different Sunday videos from Benbrook Lake. Maybe four. It's going to be hard for me to get to the other side of the lake because the truck is in the shop with the transmission problem again. So this week, today, you're going to see Holiday Park South. Next week, you'll see Holiday Park North. And then I'm going to move around to Bear Creek. And then from Bear Creek, we're going to go south and visit... I can't remember the name of it. I'll put, I'll put it right here on the Brazos River slash Whitney Lake. It's actually a county park, Ham Creek. We're gonna go to Ham Creek Park. Will be the last campground on this journey. And I'm excited about that one too, for a couple of reasons. It's a county park, but we'll get to that in a couple weeks. Right now I need to eat some lunch and find all the camera gear. And let's do Holiday Park South, Benbrook Lake. Holiday Park, Benbrook Lake. That's the courtesy dock. <laughs> That's a boat ramp. For my boat ramp fans, you can see how low this lake is. And it's been this way, it looks like it's been this way a very long time 
this boat ramp is closed this is the other so there's two sides to this one you can see it it doesn't make it all the way down to the water so this would probably be about where we would find the lake at normal level that's a that's good at least 10 feet all right let's go see some something let's go see something a little more exciting than a boat ramp that doesn't make it to the water so here at benbrook lake holiday park benbrook lake we're gonna take a look at some showers because I've, that's been a request. There's no handicap on either side. So you got pretty good, pretty good shower going there, though. Let's go. We'll go look at the other side. That's pretty rough, but you know, it, it does what it, it serves its purpose. All right, let's go see some more stuff. There seems to be quite a few really nice primitive tent camping sites. Look at that big tree, beautiful. There's several spots out here. So the, the where we just were is on the other side of this creek channel. All right, let's go find some more stuff. It's looking like all of the primitive and tent camping sites are pretty much hiking. We're, we're at the end of the road. 105, 6, and 7 campsites are back out there. But you, can, if, you can't see it, but through the trees is the camp ring, the road by my RV. That's the road that goes past Trudy Thunder. All right, let's go find some more stuff. When I mapped this on Google, driving from McKinney to Benbrook Holiday Park South, it had me go in through the Holiday Park North entrance and I arrived at this gate and could not go any further. I had to turn around like that white car is doing Just so you know, if you're coming from up north, don't trust Google if you're coming here to camp. Now, if you're coming out here to ride a cycle, this is a very, there's a lot of cyclists riding this road and they get to cut right through there. And now you know. So the boat ramp we visited earlier is way over there, but we're gonna go past that tomorrow. Right now we gotta go that away. Thank you to RV Mattresses by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring today's video. Their mattresses are made right here in the good old US of A. They offer you a 10 year warranty. And to make sure you really like it, if you, to make sure you get a really good night's sleep, they're gonna give you 120 nights to make up your mind as to whether or not you wanna keep it. That's pretty strong right there if you ask me. And I know you're going to want to keep it because uh, you're not going to get my mattress from me. I really like it. I slept so good last night. I missed sunrise. So they're made in the USA. You get a, a 120 nights to make up your mind. A 10 year warranty for crying out loud, but we're going to make it even sweeter. If you'll go to the link in the description below or in the card above, rvmattresses.com backslash dude RV. And remember to use the code DUDERV. They're giving Dude RV viewers 20% off. How cool is that? 20% off. 120 nights to make up your mind. 10 year warranty made in the USA. That's a winner winner right there, man. Go check them out. You'll be glad you did. When you're, when you're looking at the map of Benbrook Lake and the holiday campground, you can see that there's a horse trail identified. That's what this double row of bubble, this double barbed wire fence is that horse trail. I, I haven't found any equestrian camping though. We'll see. I've only just begun. 
Let's go see some more Holiday Park stuff. I was wrong. There are drive up primitive sites and I'm, I'm in one of those right now. Of course you can see the last people that were here didn't take their garbage with them and no one's bothered to come by for a while. But there's, there's several sites all along the, the shoreline here. Of course the shore, the water line is way down there. But still, I mean, if you don't need to have power, you can park right here. All right, let's go see some more stuff. All of my boat ramp fans are gonna be very disappointed. We got the ramp, we got no water. There's hardly any boats out on the lake today as well. I mean, it's Sunday, about two o'clock, and there's one boat on the lake that I can see. But that's because it's so low. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Now this is a cool pull-through site. Check this out. There's actually, there's two pull-through sites here underneath this big chinkle pin oak tree. But the, the power pedestal for, for this one is like way back over here and there does not appear to be any water. I don't know if the power pedal still is working or not. If it is, this would be the site to have. I don't know. Certainly no water. What site is this? Site number seven four. It's not right on the water but it's right by that little kayak boat ramp. All right, move on down the road. If your horse likes to go camping, you might want to bring them out here to Holiday Park. They actually do have an equestrian camping area. I guess it's a camping area. You got a table with water, and then you've got two corrals. And that's right across from what I believe is the equestrian trailhead. There's a, there's a sign over here. Let's see if we can get over here and read this sign. So that is a nature trail. But it sure looks rough. I'm, I'm not going to take a little red on that trail. All right. Let's go see what else we can find. Well, don't plan on using this courtesy dock. <laughs> it goes to nowhere. And that's because, once again, the boat ramp is closed. Let's go check out. Let's go check out a fishing dock that's run aground. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to go all the way down that on the scooter because... That's a pretty steep and slick grade. So we'll just walk. We'll, we'll, we'll do some of that biped hobble motion. Now you know what's under there. When the water comes back up, a little bit of rock. Let's go see some more dry stuff, some more drought stuff. Let's go see some more low lake stuff. Holiday Park, South Benbrook Lake also has some beautiful shelters, screen shelters. Of course, they're padlocked, so we, we can't go in. But I can look through here and tell you there's a ceiling fan, a sink, and a picnic table. Can you see that? And there's also a covered table outside, a place to hook up your RV. Yeah, this is cool. So you could actually turn that into kind of a secondary living room. 
This park turned out to be a little more than what I thought it was. All right, let's go find some more stuff. Well, here's a shelter that's open. So we can kind of stick our head in here and get a look. Sink, clothes hanger, closet. Yeah, it's a place to get out of the bugs. Number 61. Let's go find some more stuff. I'm in the shower. For, you're going to get an echo. I'm in the shower over here by the uh, shelters. Screen shelters. And this is the closest thing to a handicap shower that you're going to find. So that's too small. But that's big enough for a wheelchair. looks the same all right now you know no low lower showers for their for wheelchair access let's go find some more so here at holiday park south there are two dump stations one at the very far end where past where i'm set up and one right here by the entrance and this one by the entrance is kind of kind of interesting the way it's set up uh it's on definitely on a hill and you've got a little loop to turn around. And you got to jump a curb with the hose. But of course, it is a two-holer. So you can have two people lined up at once. But make sure you bring your sewer hose cradle to get it above the curb so I don't have to step. So I don't have to step in your poo. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right, let's go do a scooter run. Make sure you subscribe and you're paying attention. Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, there will be a first person view scooter tour. We're going to get a little red and go fast. Well, I'll go slow for campgrounds. Anyway, tune in this week and you'll see the park in full, a full driving tour. scare them away with the squeaky brake. There's three deer. Right here. Alright, 
what is that guy doing? How can he walk without moving his feet? Two little bucks and a doe. Well, that was pretty cool. There's also a flock of turkeys over by the coach. Let's see if we can see them. We have some turkey action. <laughs> that there's pretty cool. So mama has triplets. Good morning. Man, that's some good coffee. It's Jim's Sweet Love. I'll put a link in the in the description down below. If you want a good cup of coffee, Jim's Sweet Love gets the job done. Mm. Holiday Park. Benbrook Lake. I had no idea. I, I, now uh, that's not necessarily true. I had I, I met some some followers that asked me if I'd been here and said it's a pretty nice campground except the lake's really low. All right, well, <laughs> the lake is really low as we have seen. That's what happens when you have a a bit of a drought going. I I like Holiday Park South. Staff does a great job. All of that litter that we saw on Sunday morning, it's gone now. Uh, all the, the, at the individual tables, they, they cleaned it up yesterday. I think this is both a destination and a waypoint stop. Now, if you're a boater, it's not the, <laughs> this is not the place to be right now. There's the boat ramp so far, all of them have been closed. There's a boat ramp open somewhere. I'll find it because I've seen boats on the water. But there's nobody here, <laughs> at least on this end. Over by the entrance, uh, there's the, that was at about maybe 20% yesterday. And sun, Sunday when I was doing the scooter run, it was maybe 20%, 30%. It wasn't, it wasn't halfway full. So there's plenty of opportunity to come out with your RV and have a great camping adventure. If you like deer, this, this is one of the most deer populated campgrounds I've been in. Now, there have been some that I went to that had a lot of deer, but this one's, this one, <laughs> this is the winner. There, I have seen hundreds since, uh, Little packs, three and five, all over the place here. Turkey, wild turkeys too, as we have seen. Wild turkeys, ravens, deer. There is a, a very healthy wildlife population. So if you're into bird watching, this would be a good one. No noisy neighbors, no neighbors at all. Just a really peaceful two night. Now there is one detractor and that is the Naval uh, NAS Joint Reserve, whatever that is in Fort Worth now. Uh, there have been several flights of military aircraft that are very loud. There's no road noise. Surprisingly enough, we're not, you know, it's, it's only about two miles, three miles to the state highway. No road noise. Of course, there's not any boat noise because there's not very many boaters. It's a pretty campground. 
Well worth your visit. Come on out here. It's Dude RV approved. We're done here. So next week, we're going to go pay a visit to, where are we going? We're going to Bear Creek Campground. And there's a day use area adjacent to, that. It, it, it's kind of weird how they have partitioned these off. Well, it's not weird. Uh, it's a staffing issue, I'm sure. But we're going to head a, over just right across the lake the channel here to the Bear Creek campground and the adjacent day use area. It may be one video, it may be two. I don't know. We'll see when I get there. Depends on how much stuff there is to see. So make sure you tune in. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button right down there and remember to hit that bell as well so you'll never miss another episode of the Dude RV Traveling Roadshow. And for those of you who have been following along, oh, I gotta stand up for this. I gotta stand up for this. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. That's why I'm here. Look at this. This, this is all beautiful. Are you kidding me? And for my patrons, I am most grateful. I really appreciate it. You rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?